Got my coffee, let's get this started. OBS version 27 has been released to the masses and a huge thanks to the development team on this project. They've included some really incredible features here and these are my top five that I think are worth mentioning. There are more than just these five changes. So if you wanna look at the patch notes for version 27, I'll leave a link down below in the description. You can check that out if you wanna have a more detailed analysis. This is gonna highlight the top five that I think are really revolutionary to this update and just my take on how I would use them and why I think they're so pivotal to this update. Source transitions haven't really been a thing until recently. A traditional Stinger transition would cover the screen completely before you can change to the next scene so that your viewers don't see that cut or the actual scenes underneath change. Uh, with these new matte stinger transitions that you can do in OBS version 27, if you right click on your source and click show transition, you can choose basic transitions. But if you want to take this even further, select stinger transition. Now I have free stinger transitions with a track mat on the website. Link is down below in the notes if you want to download those, they're free. These stinger transitions that you can download are compatible with OBS Studio, obviously, Premiere Pro, After Effects, and DaVinci Resolve. So if you wanna customize them to whatever you want them to look like, you can download those and use them in your preferred editing software. Just an editor's note here, DaVinci Resolve is giving so many issues with this new track mat for OBS. This new style of transition is technically not supported by DaVinci Resolve. And, and so I've been pulling my hair out, trying to figure out how to make this transition work in DaVinci Resolve. It works there, but you can't render it in a correct format to where it works completely and correctly. You can see that on the future, future editors note here. So I put about eight hours into fixing this problem and it's working. DaVinci Resolve is working for these matte transitions for OBS. Uh, so uh, let's get back because uh, we don't want to watch the rest of that sob story and then come back to OBS once you've done that. Now in OBS, when you select Stinger Transition, make sure you check on Use a Track Mat. Now these Stingers that you downloaded from the site, they're side by side, so make sure you select that option. Some people make these transitions uh, on top of each other, so just choose the appropriate option. And then click OK. Now when you activate that source, that Stinger Transition is gonna use the mat and reveal your new source. You can do the same option when you hide that source, so when you right click on your source, do high transition and you can follow the same process or use a different stinger transition and you can hide that source and it'll activate that transition when it's being hidden. So stinger transitions are not new to OBS, but track match stinger transitions are. Now, instead of adding these to a source, you can add this to a scene. So when you change from scene one to scene two, usually you would have to have your stinger transition cover the whole screen at the same time. With this new matte transition, you can have scene one and scene two on screen at the same time while your transition's happening. Uh, this is really professional and usually before this was available in version 27, you'd have to have a whole bunch of hotkeys and timers maybe on a stream deck to make this work, but now it's very simple. So when you add a new transition to your project, select stinger, Go ahead and select one of the free downloads that I have in the link description. In the link description. So now when you add a Stinger transition to OBS, uh, you can select one of the free downloads that I have. I also have a premium advanced version as well. Those are pretty and they're epic. If you want to support the channel, feel free to download those. I really appreciate it. But when you select that and also again, select use a track mat, now you can transition between your scenes while they're both on screen at the same time. This adds a bit of dimension, makes your stream look professional and your viewers are gonna really enjoy it. And again, these 10 Stinger transitions with track mats are available for Premiere Pro, After Effects and DaVinci Resolve. So you can customize the colors to whatever you like. If you prefer the traditional Stinger transitions, I also do have that pack, the transition pack Stinger, link is down below in the notes. You can also download that. You get free transitions every month at one cost. Now undo and redo has been a really sought out feature in OBS and I'm not gonna dwell on this, it's pretty self-explanatory. You can undo your work. A lot of people are confused as to how far back you can undo and in OBS's patch notes, 
they say you can go back as far as 5,000 actions. Now, Mac OS and Linux have received some major updates. Previously, you couldn't add browser sources or custom widgets to OBS in Mac. I use a Mac at work and I use OBS there as well. And I couldn't get a Windows, that's just how the situation worked out. But I love this update because now I can actually add my chat from Restream into OBS. And I don't have to have additional browsers open so that I can see my chat. In addition, you can log into your Twitch, Facebook or YouTube account on OBS with Mac and Linux. Uh, that's a, also a nice, really neat update. Uh, there are additional updates to Mac and Linux, uh, but those are just some highlighted ones that I wanted to mention. Missing file dialogues haven't been available until now. Imagine you're streaming to your audience and you switch to a scene, but a lot of your assets are missing and you have to fix these live on stream. First of all, your viewers lose interest or they're just not enjoying themselves and you look like you're a complete noob or you have no idea what you're doing. So when you open OBS with version 27, it'll tell you if any assets are missing. That way you don't have to fix this on the fly whilst you're live streaming. So there you go, my top five favorite features of the new version of OBS Studio. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like, that would really be awesome. Uh, remember, there are links down below to download free Stinger transitions with track mats for this new update. Uh, you can download five free ones and there's additional five ones you can pay for that are more advanced and just look amazing. If you're interested in live streaming, content creation, or just plain old making videos, uh, subscribe and stick around for the future because there's some really nice content coming up that I'm very excited about. I can't tell you what it is yet because uh, it's, it's gonna be big. I'm just gonna say that. All the assets and sound effects and music I use is from Envato Elements. Link down below, you can get some perks there. It also supports the channel. Uh, I use them in every single video. Sound effects, music, uh, visual effects, assets. You can even get Stinger Transitions and live stream assets on their website. So check that out. I hope you enjoyed. I'll see you next time. But until then, make something great.